Every day promises July 17th, a new commander. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. John 15 verse 10. A commander is one who commands, one who has authority to give orders. Our Lord Jesus is our new commander. We follow him, we obey him, and he is the perfect commander. We can trust him blindly. When you and I are under a heavenly commander, we got to give up our own whims and fancies. We must say, Have thine own way, Lord. Not my will, but thine be done. As we meditated yesterday, we must deny ourselves and take up the cross. It requires a total surrender, a total submission, and not half and half giving. Our ultimate goal should be Somehow, I must become the darling child of my heavenly father. Anyhow, I must please my master in everything. By hook or crook, I must win God's favor and nothing else. Our heavenly commander has given us a number of orders in the Bible. He has given us a new commandment that is to love God and to love our neighbor. If you love me, you will obey me, says the Lord. John 14, verse 15. That means our obedience to him is the proof of our love for him. And our love for our neighbor is the proof of our love for God. When we have obeyed his orders, he will be pleased to give us whatever we ask. How far have you succeeded in heeding the voice of the heavenly commander? Is he pleased with you? Let's pray. Jesus, my Lord and my Master, command, Lord, your servant is willing to obey you. Thank you for selecting me and including me in your kingdom. May I do my best to attain the crowns which you have promised for those who overcome. I make this prayer through your holy and matchless name. Amen. Verse for the day. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. Psalm 34 verse 17. God bless you and have a blessed day.